I'm standing on a 14 acre plot <laughs> uh, on a class six road, which is the lowest class road. It's unmaintained by the town. Uh, there's wetlands over there that kind of borders the back of it, but it's 14 acres. There's black flies everywhere for the GS out here. You have to go around a gate to get down here. A couple of washouts that were passable on a GS though. Um, just kind of walking. I should probably turn the power off actually. These flies hate me. So I think that's the right spot. Basically, this road connects uh, two towns. Um, you know, going there's other roads that you can go down if you want to get. Uh, it's, it's unpaved, but you can at least. Uh, Going to a wedding after this, by the way. Um, obviously, there's no one down here. So, 14 acres, no services, no power, no water, no phone, uh, nothing. Um, wetlands on one side, this road on the other side, and then the two abutters on the uh, north and south of the property are um, obviously. Class six roads, so they're, there's, they're, they, it's owned by someone, but no one, no one lives there. Um, you can't really live out here. You could live off the grid, I guess, but it'd be kind of hard. It's kind of it's heavily wooded, and you can't, you can't get trucks back here to to forest this, to to, to cut this. It's a thousand pound limit. Sorry, I should have mentioned that. Maximum weight limit for this road is a thousand pounds. So uh, my GS plus me is at the limit. <laughs> um, I don't, I don't think it's worth it. I was, I was looking at a place that I can get where people can come and hang out for a weekend. You know, clear an acre or two, put up a pavilion, you know, concrete pad, pavilion, the big grill and smoker, and maybe a, a fire pit or something. It's, it's really wooded back here. But I don't think that, uh, I don't think this is going to work. The price is obviously really good, 20 grand. Uh, and taxes are like 300 bucks a year, I think, the taxes. And obviously owning it is, is, is easy. Uh, selling it for 20 grand after 10, 15 years of using it on the weekends for camping. I, mean, I, I can't even get a, I can't even get like a RV back here or a mobile home or anything. I don't, it would be a lot of sweat equity because I have to be out here every weekend with a chainsaw. Oh. Sorry, Heather called me. Um, I just don't... Because, like, the sweat equity, it's going to be every weekend with a chainsaw cutting down these trees. Uh, plus, yeah, this is this is too, na didn't too natural. It's also too beautiful to really screw up, too. You really wouldn't want to screw this up. But, but it couldn't... It, it also could not act as an, a base camp for anything. I mean... This would be something that a hunter would buy, 14 acres, and you know, hunt on it. But yeah, I don't, I just don't believe that this is going to be something for me to. I was thinking about it, a concept of like clearing some space, having some rallies out here. But it's not about the money; it's just about the practicality of it. I don't think I can afford to have this thing like made ready for a rally. Oh well. I'll drive out of here. I'll do. A, I'll see if I can get the camera set up to do a drive out of here for you guys. Yeah, you're getting a vertical video. At least you guys get an idea of how much work it takes to get out here. It's not that bad, really. I really am going to let him know. <laughs>
Yeah. Not gonna happen. More for most people. Is Adam making me go on with him? I refuse. Are you turning? No. He just asked if I've ever seen him drop his bike before. And I asked if I'm about to, and he didn't answer me. <laughs> <laughs> 